The world has been waiting for 12 rounds of boxing for the undisputed middleweight championship of the world. Sponsored by Rockstar Energy Drink, party like a rock star. And Ice Link Time Pieces, presented in association with HBO Pay Per View, sanctioned by the Nevada State Athletic Commission Chairman Skip Avancino Jr., Executive Director Mark Ratner. At ringside, the three judges scoring this contest on the 10 point system will be Chuck Jampa, Patricia Morse Jarman, and Dave Moretti. And inside the ring, the man in charge of the action, your referee, Jay Nady. And now, from the Mandalay Bay of Las Vegas for the thousands in attendance and the millions watching around the world. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, let's get ready to rumble! <laughs> Introducing first, hiding out of the blue corner, wearing black with red, his official weight, 160 pounds, his professional record, an outstanding one. 46 victories, including 32 knockouts, only three defeats with one draw and one no decision. Tonight, after more than a decade of only victories, he comes to the ring as a challenger. From Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, the former undisputed middleweight champion of the world, Bernard, the executioner. And across the ring, fighting out of the red corner, wearing white trimmed with red, his official weight, 159 pounds. He has a perfect professional record, consisting of 24 bouts, 24 victories, including 17 knockouts. Tonight, he plans to show the world that he is, without a doubt, the ultimate in this division. From Little Rock, Arkansas, the reigning, defending, undisputed, undefeated middleweight champion of the world, Jermaine Bad Intentions, Excellent job. Thank you, sir. I mean it. Alex and one day one in a cup for the Get him out. One guy, one guy. Yeah, stand over here. Okay, I can sit down coming, you guys. Let's not start the fight yet. You have any questions? Obey my commands. Do you want to touch gloves? Okay, don't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go to work. All right. The older guy's got to fight younger. The younger guy's got to fight older. second in the corner for nine years and I know Roy you believe at this stage of Bernard's experience he can fight just as well with or without Bowie Fisher. Yeah I feel like he can fight just as well with or without Bowie because he's been doing it for so long you know I mean if Bernard's 40 years old he's going to change him at this point in his career. Hopkins tried an early attack Taylor countered it with some hard punches in the corner Jay Lady warns Jermaine Taylor immediately for hitting Hopkins on the back of the head. 
there goes the question of whether the kid will insist on fighting a totally clean fight well, again. Well, he decided to be a little proactive, not waiting for Hopkins to do it first. And I'm sure his trainer, Pat Burns, is extremely pleased with that. I'm definitely pleased with that because it shows that he's not giving Bernard too much respect this time. He wants Bernard Hopkins to understand right here in round one that it's not man against boy, it's man against man. Well, I don't like the fact that he's letting his head sit so still right here either because this would get, give uh, Bernard Hopkins a perfect opportunity to set up a big punch. I would like to see Jermaine move his head from side to side a little more. It shows that Jermaine wants to try to set up a big punch. Yeah, but when you're looking for a big punch, that's when you're most susceptible to be caught by a big punch. Taylor still having trouble finding the target with the jab. Still tentative on whether to release the jab, it seems. But now he begins to let it go in the middle of the ring. Hopkins, after that one early flurry and attack, measured in his pace, as is almost always the case. First few rounds of the last fight were a war of nerves. Crowd begins to get edgy as they see the same thing developing here. Well, Jermaine got to make sure that he doesn't get discouraged about the crowd because the crowd, of course, wants to see blood, but he cannot go in and make a crazy mistake early. Hopkins got in a little right hand in close quarters there. Taylor letting his right hand go to the rib cage a couple times. No big contact in that greeting. And Hopkins creeped in a right behind the head that Jay Nady didn't see. Taylor hooking off the jab, something he didn't do in the last fight, but he missed the jab and the hook and the right hand. And Hopkins gives him a little grin, as if to say, you still can't hit me. Those are the feints right there that I was talking about but that uh, Jermaine Taylor had to use. He's stumping that left foot to feign a jab at Bernard, and Bernard has to react to it. Stop, stop, stop. No, 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 Taylor no, no. reaching with his left hand there. Yeah. Not really in yeah, range to land. He was wild with the right hand in the first fight, and one of the biggest things he has to do tonight is to control that. Round one comes to a close. Okay, everything's on top, baby. We working, we working. Stretch out for him. All right, I'm trying to rest. Yes, he's trying to lay back. Trying to lay back, save something for the end. He's going to come on that 30 second bell, but your possibly kept him off. Give me that same stance. Take that right angle, okay? Force him back. You gotta, you gotta, you can double up on that jab without getting too close. Keep the left hand up. What he's going to look to do, he's going to try to counter punch your jab, come back over here with the right hand. So we're going to show those little bit of angles, and we're going to split the glove. One time, or you had that foot over here again. Keep it right down the middle, all right? When you start your attack, he's going to drop. Get those shots in. I don't care if you come over in here and here. Get those shots in. Speed. 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 That was a pain.